so um So, uh, who is this for? <sighs> Since I know the feeling. Um, you help somebody, okay, whether this relationship or um, friendship, uh, family members, uh, somebody that was down and in need, <laughs> uh, and they didn't really have anybody else. Uh, except for you, that you came in and you, you helped them, you, um, you helped pick them up, right, from their low place, um, and when you were doing that, uh, you ignored some red flags that the Lord was trying to show you, okay, you were kind of blinded by Yes, your heart was in the right place, right? But sometimes we're blinded by seeing people at their weak points and wanting to help them. Sometimes we don't know that they are going through a type of punishment themselves, right? And we can help them out of their hard time, not knowing that we're interrupting a punishment that they're receiving for something or some things that they did, right? And it kind of throws the lesson out. The lesson they're supposed to learn, it kind of throws it out. It pushes it out of the way, if it makes sense, right? And they kind of, they, they, I, I never got this, I never understood it, but they, they, used your substance and everything two 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 on my timer they used your substance and everything that you you know helped them with you know basically they filled themselves past the point of being full right they filled themselves till they were fat right and they felt like they didn't need you anymore um you know, they bit, basically bit the hand that fed them. Uh, then they saw they saw no value in you, and basically took everything you had to give, and they ate it up, consumed it all, and then they left. They left. Okay, left you in a dry place, and you were in a lot of confusion. Right, you might be in this place right now, uh, and you cried out to the Lord. Right, which which is well, as you should have, you know, you should have done, and the Lord came through and He picked you up. All right, this is kind of like the last message, kinda. All right, um, and you know what? They may have um, done this a few times, right? Never really apologizing to you, right? Never seeing any wrong doing they did. They just felt like they could do it, and. You just had to take it, right? Let me read this. Nehemiah 9. Ooh, that's a long text. Nehemiah 9, 25, 28. Okay. Dang, I'm chopping on that phone. And they took strong cities and a fat land and possessed houses full of all goods. Wells dig, vineyards, and olive yards and fruit trees in abundance. They did eat and were filled and became fat and delighted themselves in thy great goods. Nevertheless, they were disobedient and rebelled against thee and cast thy law behind their backs and slew thy prophets which testified against them to turn them to thee and they wrought great provocations. Okay, so in the midst of them doing this, right? When you, you were trying to, when you were picking them up, right? Uh, letting them know, you know, the good that you saw in them, um, how, how they could be, you know, great, letting them know the greatness that you saw in them, right? Even though they didn't exude those behaviors 
while they were with you, you tried to encourage them. Even though they were hurting you, you still you still felt for them and you tried to encourage them, right? And you tried to turn them to God, right? Because you being who you are, you saw where their life was going to go, right? Even if they did it, right? You saw their life was gonna go in a downward downward spiral. But they rebelled against what you were saying and basically just treated you real bad. Just treated you real bad. Um, and they may have done this a couple times. Each time getting worse, okay? Therefore thou deliverest them into the hand of their enemies who vexed them. And in the time of their trouble, when they cried unto thee, thou heardest them from heaven, and according to thy manifold mercies, thou gavest them saviors who saved them out of the hand of their enemies. See, uh, this goes back to, I said this in one of the videos before, um, they prayed for you, not for you while they're with you, but before they met you, they prayed for somebody like you to come into their lives. Like all the pain that they were in, they prayed for somebody like you. Prayed to God. I mean, day and night, night and day. You know, prayed for somebody like you, and then when God gave them somebody like you, gave them you, <laughs> um, they only they looked on your exterior and they didn't see you for who you truly were. Right? They just saw you in in a hard time. Not realizing that they were the one that put you in that hard time, right? And they left you. Hanging. And the Lord had to pick you up. See, and it said, but after they had had rest, they did evil again before thee. Therefore, left, leavest thou them in the hand of their enemies, so that they had the dominion over them. Yet when they returned and cried unto thee, thou heardest them from heaven, and many times didst thou deliver them according to thy mercies. Beloved, there comes a point where you have to choose you, right? You have to choose you, because the more you keep letting people back without explanation, right? Without accountability for what they do, they're gonna keep doing it to you. They're, they're just, they just are. Uh, they don't, it's unfortunate, but they don't learn. Not that they don't have the ability to, they do. They just don't, they don't. You know, they want, they want to take what they can from you and then go out and try to find somebody that's better than you, right? But little do they know, nobody's better than you. Nobody even, nobody has the, the morals you do. Nobody has the, the, the insight, the outlook that you do, right? Nobody even loves them like you do or loves them, period, right? They think that love is dysfunction, right? Because that's man, probably how they grew up. They think that love is usury, right? Is like, oh, look what I have over here. Look what I have, right? But... And now they've gone out into the world and they try to replace you, which they can never do. And I believe they're coming to the realization of that, right? And they maybe want to come back now, right? But hey, like uh, <laughs> one of the, I heard another prophet say, like if you don't come back with Jesus, do you know there's no, there's no, there's no coming back, right? Because hey, you haven't learned your lessons. You 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 weren't willing to look at your wrongdoing, right? And, like I always say, a person that cannot look at what they do wrong, a person who looks at themselves like they do no wrong, that's a dangerous person. It's a dangerous person, right? Because they'll never have your feelings in mind, but they always want somebody to take their feelings into account, right? That's, that's not, that's not, that's why I always say I miss the old days, like, you know, when the elders that used to be here, that are, a lot of them are gone now, like marriages you used to see that go for 50 year, 50 year marriages, like you don't see that anymore because people don't have, they don't have family foundations and they don't have, you know, everybody doesn't think like you do, beloved. Everybody's not looking at being loyal to the one that they're with, uh, being faithful to the one that they're with, 
building something, actually building something that the outside world cannot tear apart, right? No matter who comes in, you know, you won't let nobody come in between that, right? And that's what a lot of people are, not enough people, but a lot of people are looking for. Uh, and I, I, the cold truth is we don't live in that, we don't live in that world anymore. Um, people want these love and hip hop relationships, right? Just drama filled and just, there's no love there. There's no love in them and it's just chaotic and going from one person to the next and like that, people don't realize, that takes a piece, that takes, that takes pieces out of you. Every time you move from one person to the next, then that just takes chunks out of you to where like, you don't even know who you are anymore, right? So, beloved, I put yourself first, okay? Put yourself first. If if people really want you, then they're they'll be willing to do the work. They'll be willing to love you like you're supposed to be loved, right? They'll be willing to change their ways that are not good ways. You know what I'm saying? Like because People can want all the the fun and the what they call fun. See, and when you do stuff in the in the in the moment, it's only for that moment. Right after that, it's like, what do you have after that? It's like nothing. You're left alone because you wanted to, you know, you wanted to go out here and do these things that 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 get you all excited, and then it's only for a second, right? And then who do you have to fall back on? Who who? Who do you have to embrace you with love in their arms? Like, who do you have? You know what I'm saying? Like, it feels good to have somebody to go to sleep with and wake up with and knowing that nobody can come in between that, knowing that you guys are locked in like this and it's solid. You know what I'm saying? It's fleeting now. It is. It is. Uh, but, beloved, you gotta, you gotta love you first, right? You gotta love you first. You gotta protect you first, right? And... Know when you're not being valued to just step away, right? Let 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 people go and do what they want to do, right? You're nobody's second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth choice, right? You should be the first choice, right? Because you are valuable. You are the most valuable, right? So take care of yourself, beloved, all right? Take care of yourself, all right? Set boundaries and love yourself. You gotta love yourself more. This, this is a lesson in it for you. Love yourself more, right? Treat yourself better, right? Because nobody can treat you better than you can, all right? I know it sucks. Hey, I've been through it, believe me. I've been through it. <laughs> but, uh, hey, treat yourself better, all right? I love you, beloved. More importantly, God loves you, beloved, okay? Love yourself, all right? Like for real, treat if nobody else wants to treat you with respect, treat yourself with respect. Do that off top, but be good to yourself, right? All right, I love you, beloved. Thanks. <laughs>